Hello guys, peace of the Lord Jesus Christ with everyone. You know, I got some response about my video regarding why we should support Israel. And some of Muslims are threatening me, you know, and they are so upset and so angry. Uh, <clears throat> but you know, for me, uh, a threat of Muslims uh, just, uh, you know, a candy for me. You know, I'm not the one you can threat. And I'm not the one you can scare. Try me once, you never use me again. Now, some of the Muslims, they answer me in their, uh, <coughs> in their uh, text, saying, this is not true, this is a lie. You know, you know it's, isn't it really funny? Always when we talk, we show all the proofs from their own books. Like, you know, the hadith is saying, in the, in, in the, in the end of the time, if a Jew or, a, or, you know, he hide behind a rock or a tree, the, the rock or the tree will scream and say, come and kill him. Is that from my book or this is your prophet saying? So now I will expose in, in a fast way the culture of hate of Islam. Islam is a hate religion from the beginning to the end. Now before I start that, you might always see Muslims showing you a verses from the Quran. Those verses saying that, you know what, there is no compulsion in Islam. There is no enforcement. There is no use to force, to force you to, to join Islam. This is a lie. Let me show you why. <clears throat> This is a surah, surah 9 verse uh, 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 29, it says it clearly, fight those who believe not in Allah or nor nor the last day nor hold uh, forbidding, which forbidding by who? By Allah and the messenger. From who? From among the people of the book. So this is a hate verse for people who they are Christian and Jew together. There's no different for Muslims. You are a Christian, you are a Jew, you know what? You should be killed. Until either they convert to Islam or they pay the jizya and feel themselves with subdued. Which means the Muslim man, he will come and he will slam your face with his hand and he will say, you know what? Where is the money? Where is the money, you, 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 you piece of garbage? Where is the money? And you pay him the money and he says, sir, this is the money. So then he, he slam his, your face again and he say, go. I will come next week to collect more. This is the jizya. You know, jizya, it's not a tax as Muslims do lie to you. In Arabic, jizya means jaza, means penalty. Tax in Arabic means dariba. So Muslims are always filthy liars when they say, or translate their Quran. Jizya is a penalty. You know? Even if you can go and search in, in, in Google, you will see that uh, uh, the punishment law, the criminal law, it's called Qanun al-Jaza, the penalty law. This is what the name, you know, the Jaza, al-Jaza. See, so this is what the Jizya mean. So Muslims, when they lie to you, they say this is a tax. Tax to who? What do you mean tax? <coughs> what do you mean tax? You know, and this tax will take almost uh, uh, three quarters of your income. This is how Muslims or Islam was able to uh, make people convert fast to Islam because you know what, you survive for a week, for two, for three, for five, you know, and after that you work like a donkey, you cannot feed your kids, you have to pay and they are slamming your face each time they see you, they, 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 you know, they torture you, so you have to pay. Now, this surah is very clear evident that, you know, and at the same time Muslims might say to you, you know, we fight only the one is fighting us, right? Well, read with me please. Does it say that this one is about fighting the one is fighting you? It says fight who do not believe in Allah. It's not about the one who fight you. Anyone who don't believe in Allah, fight him. From who? From the people of the book, which means the Christian and the Jew. So don't make any Muslim fool you and say, we fight only the one who fight us. This is a big fat lie. You know, yeah, Muslims, they fight only the one who fight us. How? Like they go to America, they go to Israel, they say, you know, I'm coming to Israel. Either you pay us the money or you convert to Islam or we are going to kill you. So the one who fight them is the one who refuse Islam. This is what fighting Islam means. You don't have to take a sword in your hand. Anyone who do not accept Islam, he is a fighter against Islam. You know, I, I just remember something I would like to show you before I continue. <clears throat> now this is a video, it is in my YouTube. You can go and watch it. You know, and you will see that this guy is saying the following. The man is asking him, the host, he's asking him, why you don't, you know, uh, 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 condemn the killing of innocent people? Look what he said. I'm not the one saying that. I can expose you from your books. I can expose you from your imams. There is always some, some Muslims 
they cannot hide from the truth. Let us hear. Bakri said quite simply, I condemn the killing of innocent people on the 20th of July. Yeah, why why do you say what he said? No, at, the, at the end of the day, innocent people, when we say innocent people, we mean Muslims. As far as uh, non-Muslims are concerned, they have, uh, they have not accepted Islam. As far as we're concerned, that is a crime against God. I want but, to be clear about uh, what you're saying. This is very important. You're no, saying that no, only let Muslims let can count let me as tell, innocent people. As far as Muslims are concerned, you're innocent if you, if you are a Muslim, then you're innocent in the eyes of God. If you are non-Muslim, then you're guilty of not believing in God. Yes, there were many victims. You're guilty. They're, guilty. They're, they're, they're Did you hear it? Did you hear it? So, you know, it's, it's stop Muslims saying this is not a true, this is a lie. This is how it is. <clears throat> Only innocent. You know, don't make Muslims fool you when they say, there's a surah in the Quran, surah, uh, 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 you know, saying, if a man killed one mankind, one, ma one man, as if he killed all mankind. The Muslims will read that surah for you, but that surah is not talking about you as non-Muslim. The surah is talking about if a Muslim killed a Muslim, Be careful, don't, don't make Muslims fool you. So, if they show you that verse in the Quran, that verse is not talking about you. If a man killed one man, as if he killed all mankind. Mankind of who? Of the religion of Islam. This is why this animal, <coughs> this man, he was saying the truth. You know, if you are not a Muslim, you are a victim. So, the, 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 the host, you know, he heard the Imam saying, Islam is against the killing of innocent people. He is fooling you. Islam is against the killing of innocent people who they are Muslims. Not Christians, not Jew. So that guy, he told him the lie. You know, Muslims are allowed to be hypocrite, by the way. I can go and go to Christians or Jewish or, you know, any community and say to them, Islam is against killing of innocent people. But, you know, I will not continue saying to them who are they the innocent people who are they those innocent people did you ask him a definition who is the innocent people first and you know even if you ask him Muslims are a liar in surah 3 verse 28 a Muslim is allowed to lie to protect Islam always remember that so they will never tell you the truth mostly like this guy you know he is my hero why because he is saying the truth I never saw a Muslim telling the truth I wonder what's wrong with him. The, he, what he said now, he will say between Muslims, but he will not say in the front of Christians. So, in case you did not hear him, I will play it more. Actually, I should make more than one video about this topic. I will call it the culture of hate of Islam, and I will post it next to the video of Israel. Listen carefully again, please. I just wonder why you won't condemn it when your own leader, Omar Bakri, said quite simply, I condemn the killing of innocent people on the 20th of July. Yeah, why why do you say what he said? No, at the, at the end of the day, innocent people, when we say innocent people, we mean Muslims. As far as uh, non-Muslims are concerned, they have, uh, they have not accepted Islam. As far as we're concerned, that is a crime against God. I want but, to be clear about uh, what you're saying. This is very important. You're no, saying me, only Muslims can it. count let me as innocent people. As far as Muslims are concerned, you're innocent if you, if you are a Muslim, then you're innocent in the eyes of God. If you are non-Muslim, then you're guilty of not believing in God. Yes, there were many victims. You're guilty. They're, guilty. They're, they're guilty. Are you seriously believing. suggesting that everybody on those tube trains and on that... Yes, he is serious. He is damn serious. This is his religion. You know, this is a surah. This is Surah 9, verse 28. We are not only should be killed, we are dirty and clean. Imagine you make a surah, you make a, a sign in front of the city of New York or London or Tel Aviv, and you say, Muslims, you are not allowed to enter those cities because you are filthy and you are dirty. And here in the translation, they translate, translate the word najis as any clean. The word najis doesn't mean any clean. It's meaning you are dirty as poo poo. So imagine he forbid people from entering their houses. The city of Mecca, by the way, many will say this is a city of Muslims. No, that's not true. There were a lot of Jew, a lot of Christian there. He forbid them, he kicked them out from their houses because he said they are dirty, they are unclean. He killed wherever he can and whoever run, run, and he will never let anyone come back. And he said, from today, from this year, after this year, nobody can approach the sacred mosque. And you know, if you go and, and check, you will see that's all the city you cannot enter, not only the mosque. You know, for me, I have no problem. I don't want to enter that d dirty, d dirty mosque. But they forbid you from entering cities. Not only the city of, uh, of Mecca, the city of Al-Madina. There is a big sign in there that says, you know, Jewish 
Christians and dogs and pigs are not allowed. If you cross this line, your blood is for free, which means you will be killed. Please follow me in the coming video because this topic is big. I will make maybe need two videos more to finish this topic. And I hope you guys you will enjoy it as education and you can teach your kids. And please spread the, the, the knowledge. Hello everyone. I hope you are enjoying our video. You know, uh, our video today regarding the culture of hate. Uh, which is Islam for sure guaranteed you know I don't think anyone have a competition with Islam you know in this topic so uh, follow with us please and let us continue what we were doing I was saying that you know uh, Muslims they might come to you and say to you there is a verse in the Quran surah in the Quran it's called Al-Kafirun this surah is saying you know no compulsion in Islam you have your religion I have mine this surah is abrogated by surah 9 verse 29 I did mention that before already and we did talk about it so now, uh, uh, when you hear a Muslim saying to you, no compulsion in Islam, tell him, Surah 9, verse 29, abrogated that verse, abrogated that Surah. That verse alone, so verse, uh, in Surah 9, verse 29, abrogated 120 verse in the Quran. Remember that always. Don't make, make Muslims fool you. And you heard in the other video we, we made, the Imam saying that the Muslims, they are, the only one is innocent is the Muslim one. If you are a Christian or a Jew, you are a legitimate target for Islam to, to be killed. You are no innocent because you are a criminal, because you refuse Islam. So when a Muslim say to you, you know, Islam against the king of innocent people, yes. The innocent people as Muslims, not Christian or Jew. You can go and you can watch the video in my YouTube about that. Now let us continue in here. This is Surah 5 verse 51 explaining to us if Muslims can be a friend's to the Christians or Jewish or anyone by the way and here they are talking about Christian and Jew because you know Muhammad he never heard about the Hindus and the Buddhas so can a Muslim be a friend to you let us see the culture of hate or the culture of love when I talk about Islam as culture of hate I give a proofs I'm not the one is making it up this is your Quran Muslims and by the way you can see the same surah in surah 60 verse number one surah th uh, 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 3 verse 28 so not only this one, I can show you. We can go to Surah 60 verse number 1 and we will see that it's exactly the same. You see it? It's the same. Don't take from my enemy your friends. Who is your enemy? Well, if you go to Surah 5 verse 51, you will see the enemies is the Christians. Is the Jewish. So Allah is naming us as an enemies. We like it or, you know, it's not up to you to choose to be an enemy to Muslim or not. He is your enemy because his God, Allah, is asking him, ordering him to choose you as an enemy. You are, it's not a choice. You don't choose to be an enemy. You know, like I am a Christian. I don't want to be an enemy to the Muslims. I don't want to hate them. But is that what is stopping them from killing me or hating me? No. You have nothing to do with it. It's them. They are orders not to take you as a friend or a protector what does that mean you if i am i cannot your your friend you know uh, maybe somebody will say you know what not everybody in the street is my friend too yeah this is true but when a quran say you cannot take someone by his religion because of his religion as a friend or a protector what does that mean if he cannot be my friend I'm making it clear which mean and another surah saying those are my enemies so they are enemies I don't take them as a friends because they are my enemies not because I don't have to take everyone in the street as a friend this is not the case so I am not a friend to Muslims because they are ordered to hate me and to fight me and because the Quran says I am an enemy to him not because I choose to be an enemy so Muslims they might go to YouTube again and they post and say this is not true you know we love and they have a and you might get an American or a British or a Canadian you know I have a lot of fool I see always they will say to you no 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 I have a friend he's a Muslim he's a very nice guy you you fool so what if he's a nice guy this is his Quran which one is more important for him his Quran or you his holy God order or you who are you you are no one and he live in the West what he can do to you what about you move to Iran and let us see how he, would, he how, how much he will respect you go 
What about you go to Saudi Arabia and you say, you know what, I want to carry just the Bible with me. They will torture you. You will be killed. If he respect you, how come you, he cannot, you cannot have a Bible in there? How, what kind of respect is that? He respect you in your country? He have to. Because he is in your country. In the top of that, I'm not making things up. Read it and ask yourself a very easy question. Which one is more important to Muslim? His Holy Quran or you? Which one he have to believe in more? You are as a friend or you are as an enemy as Quran say? So those people who do not agree with me and they say, Oh, I have a friend. I have a co-worker. You know, I, I have, I have, I have. You have nothing. Those people, they are not showing you. And you know what? Maybe, maybe one of them is an honest. He don't hate you. He's a friend to you. Maybe. But it's mean. He don't know about this surah. If you tell him about this surah, he will change upside down. Because this is a holy Quran. Do you know what holy Quran mean? It means Allah himself talking to him. And as long as he considers himself as a Muslim, it's mean he, he don't give a damn about you, he give a damn about his Quran. Now, is that the only verses we have about hate? How many until now I showed you? I will show you more. You know, did the Quran call the Christian and the Jew that they are pigs and, uh, and monkeys? Yes. We are pigs and monkeys. Read it. This is Surah 5 verse 60. What do you want more? You know, you cannot call a Muslim a name. Shame on you to call a Muslim a name. No, no, no. Shame on you. This is the teaching of hate. You are hating him. You know, but Muslims, they are calling you officially in their book, pig and a monkey. And you know what? Nobody dare to speak about it. Can you go on TV and say Muslim pigs? I challenge you to do it. But a Muslim Imam, he can read in your TV, in America, a verse from his Quran saying that Christian and Jewish, they are pigs and monkeys. Can you open your mouth? No, you have to shut up. You have to respect the Muslims. Yeah? This is what we got those, these days from those liberals. You know, mostly who will open his mouth big and wide against you, the, 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 the liberals who they are, you know, supporting everything ugly in our life. Say I am a gay, they support you. Say I'm a lesbian, they support you. Say I'm a drug dealer, they support you. Say I am a Muslim, they love you. This is how it is. And this is why we have to stand together to expose those people. So, you are a pig and you are a monkey in their book. And God, Allah, curse you. Not only the Muslims curse you. And you are evil. And you are dirty. And you are an animal. All those names exist in the Quran. I'm not making it up. Is that the only verse saying that? No. Surah 7 verse 166. It says the same. Be apples. You know, you, you know Allah, he transformed you to be an, an, a pig, a monkey, an alien. You are not a human anymore. This is why Muslims, when they kill you, they are not killing as a human. You are just an animal. Is that the only one? No. Surah 2 verse 65 Be an apples All of it is about hate So what is left? And when you see, remember I showed you from Ibn Kathir Explanation for Surah 9 verse 29 That when you see a Christian or a Jew In the street, you have to humiliate them You have to insult them And this is what the Prophet of Islam He said himself on Sahih Muslim and Abu Huraira and the Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam call when you see a Christian or a Jew don't ever start you know saying peace to them and if you see them if you meet them in the street force them to the most narrow one humiliate them and insult them tasghirahum wa tahqirahum it's a must and you, you can go and you sleep in their houses in their bed and you don't allow them to pray in their churches and they can, any Muslim can sleep in your house anytime he wants for three days or three nights for free in your bed with your wife. You know, what do you want more? So this is all is not a teaching of hate. This is all is a teaching of love. I'm sure still many liberals will not take what I said. And I am sure that Muslims will come on YouTube and they will say, no, Islam is peace. Islam love everybody. Islam, you know, and they will open for you Surah Al-Kafirun. You know, the one that says you have your religion, I have mine which is not 
uh, 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 allowed to follow anymore. This is abrogated surah by surah 9 verse 29 as we said. So this is my advice for everybody. Let us all be united to support each other to expose this cult, this false religion. As you see, the whole world is under the threat of Islam. Yesterday and the day before, more than three cars explosion in, in, in London, you know. They are working hard, and they did, and they will do, and they will never stop doing that. Because this is the way they can express themselves, by killing you, by torturing. They, the Muslims, if you make a book about them, Salman Rushdie, he made a book, so what? You know, there's millions of people, they made books against Jesus Christ. We did not kill any. You know, but if you make a book against Muhammad, millions of Muslims want to torture you. They want to kill you. The Pope he saw he said two words about Muhammad. Millions of Muslims said in the street, "You know, you Pope, you are saying Islam is not peace. Take your word back, or we will kill you." You are you prove him wrong, right? If you don't take his word back that Islam is peace, you will kill him. This is what Islam is about. Thank you all. Jesus is Lord. Islam is satanic religion. We have to fight. Thank you.